sewers are very good at what they're designed for, but unfortunately they're not designed uh, to take things other than paper, pee and poo. We're talking about wet wipes, fats, oils and greases. These materials can cause our sewers to block. Historically, when sewers have blocked, we need to clean them using high pressure water. What we've done in the past is we've used water that's collected in our reservoirs, treated to make it into great quality drinking water, transferred through our network to a point where it's required. That isn't the most sustainable way to do things, so now we're changing and doing it in a more sustainable manner. We're standing next to a rainwater harvesting tank, which collects water off the roofs at Cromlick Sewage Treatment Works, puts it in a tank until we can use it. In the past, teams have filled up from a water hydrant here. Now we've got several of these tanks dotted around the sites. All the vans can fill up at the same time, as long as it's been raining from a sustainable source. Water is a really precious resource, and for jobs like this, it doesn't have to be treated to a high standard. We can use water from the roofs. It's referred to as grey water. People at home can harvest it for watering their gardens, washing their cars, for lots of other purposes. The other advantage of capturing rainwater from the roofs is it then doesn't have to flow into our sewage network, which frees up capacity in the pipes and helps reduce the risk of flooding. And also at the far end of the network, it frees up capacity at the sewage treatment works for it to treat foul flows very, very effectively.